Welcome to Computer Tech TV. My name is Rick Arter, and you're looking at a Cooler Master 692 Advance case. Inside of that case is the Thermalrite HRO2 passive heatsink. And here is the results after running 30 plus minutes of Orthos small FFTs on this E4500 overclocked to 3 gigahertz at 1.384 volts tried to overclock the CPU to give it some more heat to uh, be more realistic to a newer CPU that put out more heat like a quad core or something similar and on the cooling setup here basically I have one 120 millimeter fan in the five and a quarter inch bays blowing almost 80 CFM across the heat sink and then I have another almost 80 CFM 120 millimeter fan mounted in the back so that provides the airflow. There is a grill on the top that's open, but there's no fans up there. And uh, basically, the temperatures we're looking at here just hit 65 Celsius. We've been sitting between 60 and 63 for the last about 15 minutes. Uh, idle temperatures were down to 26. They stay usually about in the low 30s and then 65 Celsius is the highest we've obtained so far. And you must remember this is a passive cooler so this is relying solely on the air that is going through the case. So if you have a bigger case or a case with better cooling in it, more fans, then of course your results are going to be lower. And just for the record, uh, I basically did what 99 percent of the people are going to do with this cooler. They're going to just mount it on there I tightened down the pressure valve um, maybe half a turn just to give it a little more force. I used the included thermal paste and I basically did it one time and this is the temperatures that I got. So I want to try to make these tests as realistic as possible. So I hope you guys uh, enjoy this. And uh, that about wraps it up for the temperature test here. If you guys have any more questions, uh, please let me know. The next video following this will be the um, Thermalrite TY140. PWM, PWM fan mounted on here and then we'll see what the temperatures look like after that so uh, I'd like to thank Thermalrite for providing the CPU heatsink and uh, thanks for watching guys please check out my channel and subscribe if you have not already to get the latest video updates uh, and you guys all have a great day welcome to computer tech TV this is Rick Arter this is the follow up video to the HRO2 passive idle load temperature. I have mounted the TY140 PWM fan to the HRO2 supply brackets. And before anybody comments on it, I realized that I put the fan on backwards. I was in a hurry and that's how it ended up, but it's securely mounted, you can be sure of that. Now let's look at our temperatures here. I ran this uh, with the side panel on for 30 minutes and then I took it off. We've been running this for f almost 45 minutes. And as you can see, the temperatures look great. Been hovering in the uh, mid to high 50s. Idle temperatures 25. And the highest we've seen so far is 59, which is about five to six degrees cooler than the passive results. Both of which are very impressive compared to the heat sinks that I've run in the past. Um, and I highly recommend this heat sink. So if you guys are looking for a passive solution, the option to put a fan on if you need it, I definitely suggest this. Just show you guys here we're running the same setup that we had before, so that about wraps it up guys. Thanks a lot for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. And uh, please check out my channel and subscribe if you haven't. And you guys all have a great day. Thanks for watching.